So I'm here at the Manitoba Museum with planetarium astronomer Scott Young on uh, no doubt has been a very busy time for you. Very busy. Tell me what's happening on Monday. Sure, Monday there is a solar eclipse that is visible all across North America. Uh, there's a, a various areas that will see the total eclipse out east in Canada, but here in Manitoba we see a partial eclipse only, and it's about a 60% partial eclipse. So that's the view that we're going to get here uh, from about 1 o'clock to about 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon. So not, not the full total eclipse, but still pretty cool sight to see. Yeah, absolutely. Eclipses are always a lot of fun to see. You're actually seeing the motions of the solar system, and it's the alignment of the sun, the moon, the earth, and your head all in a line that makes this uh, this site visible. Yeah, and, and, you, and you were mentioning that places out to the east and to the south of us have a better chance of seeing that total. Yeah, the, the total eclipse basically stretches from Mazatlan in Mexico up through the United States, through Montreal, and then off to the Maritimes. And uh, we have some folks from Manitoba that are driving down to wow. see that, of course. But if you're not traveling, you can, uh, you can come down to Assiniboine Park on the Monday, and we're going to be set up with the local astronomy club. And they'll be able to show you this, the sun through safely filtered telescopes that give you a close-up but totally safe view. So what do people need to know if they're wanting to view this uh, on their own or at the park on Monday? Well, um, if you want to view it on your own, the problem is the sun is too bright to look at at any point. And so what you really need to do is have proper eye protection. You need to have special eclipse glasses. The problem is at this point, eclipse glasses are sold out across the country. There literally are none available. You can still buy them online, but they are actually fake ones. Okay. So people are, are sending, are selling fake ones, which is terrible. Um, there are ways to observe it indirectly. Uh, we have some of those listed on our website. We have a special eclipse page that details how to make a pinhole camera and how to make a binocular projector, all these kinds of ways to do it that is totally safe. Might and be some arts and crafts involved. A little bit of arts and crafts, just cardboard, masking tape, that kind of stuff. So, so pretty straightforward stuff. A lot of classes can easily handle the, the, the level of construction required. Something like welder's goggles, will that work? You know, if, if you have welder's goggles that are number 14 welder's glass, those are safe. The problem is most people that already have welder's glass, it, they don't know what the number is because it's mounted in their helmet already. And uh, I've already checked, there's not a lot available left in the, in the city. But number 14 is safe, number 13 is not safe, number 12 is not safe. How often do we get a, a site like this in our neck of the woods here in Manitoba? Well, eclipses happen um, infrequently. We, we were actually had, were, we had one in October of last year, so we had these two within six months that were kind of, um, that's a little unusual. Usually maybe every three, four, five, years we'll get a partial eclipse. We haven't had a total solar eclipse here in Manitoba since 1979. Wow. Yeah, and that was, I was nine. I, I remember seeing it in school and it totally changed my life. It was so amazing that I became an astronomer right then. So uh, you guys are hosting an event at Assiniboine Park on Monday where you can safely view this. Um, where, where do people go? How can they take part in that if they want to sure. view this safely? Yeah, well, the, uh, the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, the local astronomy club, and the planetarium are uh, joining forces at Assiniboine Park. We'll be at the Leaf, just outside the Leaf, actually, in the community gardens right beside it. Uh, and there's a bunch of parking all around in that area. People can just come down. It's free. Uh, the event starts just before 1 o'clock and will last throughout the entire eclipse. If it's cloudy, we're still gonna go ahead because we have live streams coming in from across the country, including some of the places where there's a total eclipse. So if you come to the park, you'll be able to watch the real live partial eclipse and also see the total eclipse wow. from one of the sites. It's gotta be clear somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we, we hope we'll get a good night. Uh, Scott, thank you for your time and uh, hoping for sunny skies on Monday. Yeah, me too, yeah. thanks a lot, cheers.